art's about something that's entirely different from what my original sources were. And I like the contradiction. Commercial art was done for a completely unesthetic purpose originally, but the Matisse wasn't, so it's a, a bit of a different problem. What I'm doing is a fake Matisse, like a gross painting of a Matisse that I'm including in my work. I act in terms of abstraction as though it was pure contrast rather than thing that I'm working on. But I don't think about it at all. I'm probably not even thinking about art when I'm painting. It has to be right somehow, and it isn't. And so I make some kind of change. And the kind of change, because of experience that I make, is probably a better guess than I would have made on it uh, 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Roy Lichtenstein was one of the most famous pop artists of his generation. Pop art was based on commercial art, advertising, movies, and television in Mage. Roy Lichtenstein mostly used primary colors like red, blue, and yellow. Lichtenstein sometimes used subjects like movie stars like Marilyn Monroe, Mickey Mouse, and celebra celebrities as well as consumer goods. Roy Lichtenstein was born in New York City on October 29, 1923. Roy Lichtenstein got most of his ideas from bumblegum wrappers, comic book, newspaper ads, and yellow book pages from the telephone book. Roy Lichtenstein studied art all the time. Lichtenstein used thick outlines, flat shapes, and solid colors for his paintings and Ben Day dots. Mr. Lichtenstein was carefully to make sure that his colors were flat, smooth. Some of his first paintings were from legends. In 1962, Leo Castell made a show of Roy Lichtenstein paintings. Roy Lichtenstein also liked science. Lichtenstein read all kinds of science books. Sometimes Roy Lichtenstein made the paintings of other artists. Roy Lichtenstein made every artist want to do pop art. Some people did not like Roy Lichtenstein's work. Eventually, art critics saw his talent. Roy Lichtenstein died in 1997.